everyone and welcome back to Philosophy. So in my previous two videos, I spoke about the basic knowledge about enzymes and then I spoke about lock and key mechanism. And in today's video, I'm going to focus on optimum temperature and pH and the effects of temperature and pH on an enzyme. So let's start. Optimum temperature and pH. This means the best temperature or pH for an enzyme to work. Here I've got two graphs. First is rate of reaction on the y-axis with temperature on the x-axis and the second we have rate of reaction on y-axis and pH on x-axis. So according to this graph, the rate of reaction continuously increases until it reaches its highest point that is around 40 degrees Celsius and it then continuously decreases till about 60 degrees Celsius when it reaches the rate of reaction reaches zero. Now when we look at pH, the red line is for the P uh, enzyme pepsin which works the best in acidic conditions and it is an enzyme present in the stomach and because there is hydrochloric acid present in the stomach it works the best in acidic conditions. So as you can see the rate of reaction is highest at around pH of 2 which is a very strong acidic condition and it decreases until it reaches 0 to at about pH of 8. For most of the most other enzymes, the optimum pH is pH 7. So it increases until it reaches the pH 7 and then continuously decreases until it reaches pH of 10. So the optimum or the best temperature is when the rate of reaction is the highest. So the optimum temperature for this enzyme is 40 degrees Celsius because the rate of reaction is highest at 40 degrees Celsius. Same way, the optimum pH for pepsin is 2, the pH of 2, because the rate of reaction is highest at that pH. And for most other enzymes, the optimum pH is pH 7, because the rate of reaction is highest at that pH. Now, as the temperature increases, it reaches a point where the enzyme becomes denatured. Enzyme becoming denatured means that there is no reaction occurring and so the rate of reaction is zero. When an enzyme becomes denatured, it means that the active side of the enzyme can no longer fit into the substrate. And same thing, same thing happens with an increase in pH. At some pH, the enzyme becomes denatured and it, and it loses its ability to have a complementary shape with the substrate and break down the substrate molecule. As the temperature increases, the enzymes and the substrate get more kinetic energy. So they move towards each other more and there are much more chances of bumping into each other. That's why as the temperature increases till its optimum temperature, the rate of reaction also increases. Same thing happens for pH. Around the optimum pH, the enzyme and the substrate collide more often and so there is more reaction taking place. So this is our enzyme and this is the substrate. When the temperature rises above its optimum temperature, then the enzyme becomes denatured. Or when the pH reaches to a certain pH where the enzyme, where it is harmful, then the enzyme gets denatured. So when an enzyme gets denatured, its active site loses its shape. Which means that when this is the active site, the substrate can fit exactly into the active site. But here the enzyme has lost its active site, the shape of its active site. And so the, subs the shape of the substrate is not complementary and the substrate cannot fit into the active site here. So the reaction does not take pla takes place. And here we say that the enzyme has become denatured when the active site of the enzyme loses its shape. That's it for this video. I hope you understood. If you have any doubts, please put it in the comments down below. And if you want me to post a video on any topic, please put it in the comments below. Bye-bye.